If you ever spent time in New York City, you might have stayed in one of those buildings where it's just too hot, the building didn't adjust the heat, even though it's winter and you have to crack a window. Why is that? And are there a lot of buildings out there like that? Yeah, there actually are a ton of buildings out there like that, and it's not just a minor annoyance. It turns out that 13% of greenhouse gases in the US are actually spewed out of where we live and work, commercial and residential buildings. Take a look inside any typical building in New York or San Francisco, and you'll be disappointed to find super outdated technology from the 1960s and 70s, operating antiquated on-off switches or timers. It's actually a huge part of what's happening in our society with the climate crisis, but we have a fix for this. I'm here today with Lee Hoffman, co-founder and president of RunWise, an outcomes as a service startup that we funded. RunWise is transforming how buildings operate by building a wireless sensor network and software that can save landlords money, make cities way more affordable, and most importantly, make the planet a cleaner place for all of us to live. Let's get started. Take a look at this brand new high rise. It's a super high tech glass tower that can be in any city in the world. But I bet if you took a tour inside the underbelly of this beast, you'd find a control box from 50 or 60 years ago. The way the control technology has worked for the last 50 to 70 years is you'd install a extremely expensive computer with miles of wiring that would take weeks to install. And only the two people that you hired, Joe's HVAC company, would ever be able to service it ever again because they're the only ones who know how the wiring is actually done. RunWise is replacing ancient building tech with wireless smart sensors that operate on batteries with a 10 year battery life, meaning modern software and hardware takes over a building's boilers and heating system. We took this incredibly expensive, complex, time consuming process and we made a computer and wireless sensor network that are literally 10 times faster and cheaper to install completely wirelessly. Sometimes when we're meeting startups, one of the most important questions that we ask is why you and why now? Why is it that RunWise is the one when others haven't done it yet? It's extremely expensive to install control technology in buildings. You have to do literally weeks uh, of wiring, guys on ladders doing electrical, plumbing, incredibly risky, incredibly expensive. And then what ends up happening is because it's all mechanical, the technology goes in, nobody ever looks at it again, and it doesn't save any energy. And what's really fundamentally transformed this industry is the idea that not only can you get this technology in 10 times faster and cheaper by making it all wireless, but after it's installed, you can use incredible software every second of the day to run that building more efficiently. The result is you can cut carbon emissions and energy usage by somewhere around 20 to 25 percent. That doesn't sound like a lot, but literally a third of the carbon emissions in our country comes directly from operating buildings. If we simply ran those buildings more efficiently, we could cut the carbon emissions in this country by over 10%. It takes a special kind of person to work on this startup, mainly because it took great software and hardware chops to join up with someone with very direct experience with this problem space. It always helps for someone who wants to be a founder to spend time in weirder places off the beaten path. I come from a tech startup background. My co-founder comes from the real estate side. Um, and really the company started because my co-founder was running 150 buildings in New York City and there was no genius logic or analysis going on. He literally just noticed that one building would be using 100, 200% more oil, gas, electricity than another. And he went to the owner, a notoriously uh, uh, on top of every single penny landlord, and asked him why he thought we were, they were wasting millions of dollars of energy. And the guy literally looked him in the, in the face blankly and said, I, ha I have no idea. And that was kind of the genesis of there being a problem here. Founders always ask me what they need to do to find a problem space like this. And I think Lee's answer is a perfect one. Just go out and talk to customers and they're gonna tell you some weird thing that's surprising. In this case, someone told these founders how obvious the idea was and that there wasn't someone doing it. Sometimes that is actually the universe telling you, you need to do it. The long-term vision is that there are 12 million buildings in the United States and every one of them is wasting a tremendous amount of energy. 
And by simply changing how those buildings operate with better technology, we can fundamentally make cities more sustainable, healthy, and cleaner places to live. And to put this in context of real world numbers, we're in literally less than 4,000 buildings out of the 12 million already. And last year alone, we took 35,000 cars of carbon output off the road. If we were able to actually run those buildings just a little bit more efficiently, we could take the equivalent of almost half of the cars in the United States off the road simply by operating the, the existing buildings a little bit more efficiently. For founders out there, I really want you to take note of Lee's pitch. A truly great pitch is not just a bunch of buzzwords. It's a simple, straightforward thing that you and I can understand. But when you zoom out, you actually realize what it means when this startup actually works. It's actually huge. Runwise is bringing outcomes as a service to a huge market that, I don't know, sort of boggles my mind, actually. It's every building in the world. When I say outcomes as a service, I'm saying that Runwise actually bears the risk of installation and property owners just pay less to enjoy the fruits of technology without having to worry about how to build it. It's win-win, and I think we're on the cusp of outcomes as a service being a far bigger driver of GDP in society than even software as a service. People want outcomes. They don't want to buy software. But you and I, as software builders, that's a gift. And if this speaks to you, Runwise is hiring. Yeah, we have, a, we have a tremendous mission. We're in literally 3,500 buildings right now out of 12 million. So we have a long way to go and a huge amount of impact and we need incredible people to help us do it. We're looking for amazing engineers, technicians, uh, client service people. Uh, we are literally growing like bon like crazy and are looking for great people to help us. And if you live in a building in any of the major cities in the United States and or you have a friend that owns a, pro owns a building, um, you should definitely come talk to us. Uh, energy is by far the one of the largest operating expenses in any building, and more importantly, it's the only controllable cost uh, in pretty much any building. Link in the description if you want to work at Runwise or if you have a friend who happens to have a building that has one of those 50-year-old boxes. They're great for this. That's it for this week. If this is your first or 20th video if you've watched on this channel, I invite you to take a moment and click that subscribe button and the bell icon. Please post this video on LinkedIn, Twitter, and send it to your friends. As always, we want you to learn about how startups that could change the world get started. So I'm so glad to share Runwise and Lee's story with you today. I'll see you next week.